In order to complete your assignments in SimChart, locate the two links provided underneath the SimChart section of your Computers and Healthcare course. A great place to start is in the SimChart Student Resources link. When you click on the SimChart Student Resources link, a new window will appear. And once that window appears, click on Getting Started. The links in here contain important guides that will help you learn the ins and outs of SimChart for the medical office, which simulates the same type of electronic health record computer systems that you will be using in the real world setting to complete assignments in a medical office or clinic environment. One of the most important links in the student resources area is the medical office workflow. It contains detailed instructions on many of the assignments that you will be given by your instructor such as how to register a, pla a patient, how to schedule an appointment, or how to complete a super bill, for example. The table of contents will tell you exactly where that instruction set resides. For example, if your first assignment is to register a patient and then to schedule an appointment, you would continue reading the medical workflow and here are the instructions on how to register a patient. This is the instruction set on how to schedule an appointment using SimChart. Remember, SimChart simulates electronic health record systems found in the real world environment. Learning how to use this system is an invaluable skill set that you will need to make yourself marketable for employment outlooks once you begin your career search. By going back to your Moodle tab in your browser window, you will see the second link that takes you to the Evolve Elsevier portal. Student Services will take care of ensuring that you are enrolled in the SimChart course that your instructor is leading. And inside of your Evolve resources, along with your PageBurst eBook library, you will find a link for SimChart for the medical office. You will note the course ID of your and your instructor's name. And you will click on the SimChart for the medical office link. Once inside of SimChart, you will notice on the left hand side, you will have two areas, the student resources link and the SimChart for the medical office link. Click on SimChart for the Medical Office link. If you have pop-up blockers, simply click on the Open button and that will take you to SimChart for the Medical Office. Once inside, you will note on the Info panel, you have three sections, the Open Assignments section, Graded Assignments, and you can work in a playground to practice. In the assignment section, you have the assignments that your instructor has opened for you and information on how long it should take you to complete them and what their status is. Choose an assignment that you wish to complete. Then click on the assignment and you will be taken to the info panel on the assignment that you've chosen. The title for the assignment is listed above. You have on the left hand side the competencies that you will learn and practice during the assignment. There's a post case quiz that you may take to prove to your instructor that you've completed the assignment. And if that assignment had additional resources, they would appear here in this area. To go back to your main assignment information page, click on case and you will see a complete debriefing of your assignment along with any relevant information necessary to complete it in the assignment attachments page. For example, in this case, your assignment is to register a new patient named Lisa Ray and schedule her for an appointment. Along with a complete debriefing of the assignment found in the assignment description, you will also find in the assignment attachments area 
relevant information necessary to complete this assignment. For example, Lisa Ray's patient information pages 1, 2, and 3 are found in the assignment attachments. In addition, you, there is another link to a JPEG file, which is usually a picture file, in the attachments area. Notice that pages 1, 2, and 3 of her patient information sheet are there for you. You will need them to complete the assignment. This is typical information the patient fills out while waiting in the lobby the first time they see a doctor in a medical clinic. This information will later need to be transferred to the electronic health record system. In addition to pages 1, 2, and 3 of the patient information sheet, here is a copy of Lisa Ray's insurance card and all the relevant information that you will need to complete any assignments relating to registering Lisa Ray as a patient as they relate to her insurance card. A quick tip, print out these pages and have them readily available to you during the assignment session as it will be convenient to access that information so that you can complete the data entry portions of the assignments. Another quick tip for smartphone users is you can take pictures of, this, of the screen of every one of the assignment attachments and use your phone to reference to when doing the data entry. This will save you some printer's ink. Once you've printed out all of the attachments that you'll need for the assignment or snapped quick pictures of them, you can begin the assignment. Once inside of an assignment, the simulation of an electronic health record begins. The default view of the electronic health record system that SimChart simulates is the front office area this electronic health records also contains a clinical area and a coding and billing area. In addition, you will also see a true code button to the right and at the top of the different areas within the electronic health record system. True code is an encoder that helps you find codes for either diagnoses or procedures that are necessary in the coding and the medical billing that takes place in the clinic. Inside of this view, you may also look at the calendar, search for patients, filter by providers in the office, look at the exam room and what's happening in the exam rooms, and look at the provider view and see what's going on with the different doctors as far as their specific calendars are concerned. In addition to those areas, SimChart also has a correspondence section where it will simulate your ability to send emails and letters. There's blank email templates, memos, that you will need to type up, reminders for missed appointments, new patient welcomes, normal test result templates, patient termination templates. These are all different email templates that you might use in a real world setting, different letter templates, and scripts for phone messages. You will also find a patient demographics section where you can search for existing patients. and if the patient does not exist you will get a button for adding the patient. You will also be able to find patients by searching through existing patients and you can look through the forms that the medical office uses in the forms repository. For example this is an advanced directives form. 
And this is a general consent for a procedure. You want to head back to the calendar view, which is the most common view, and the starting point of SimChart. Just click back on calendar view. This concludes the short video on an orientation to SimChart. Good luck on completing your assignments, and thank you for watching this video.